Hello, what is up, everybody? RL57 here, back with yet another diecast car video. And in today's video, we will be checking out the Pot Race 164 scale PR64 number 26 Nissan Skyline C210 Kaido Racer Bosozoku style, or uh, as people like to call it, of course, the Nissan Bosozoku. If you don't know about this car, this is basically a really, really popular car in Japanese culture. In, of course, uh, Japan mostly it's been used at a ton of uh, car meets, I would say. And basically, they are like an entertainment to those who want to see uh, extremely heavily modified Japanese cars. For example, well, if you want to like... Uh, I don't know, maybe you want to see some like extremely uh, detailed and also um, modified Japanese cars. This is one of it. And uh, of course, it's called a Bosozoku, even though it's. Uh, I know some of you may have difficulties of pronouncing it or so. It is, well, basically more to a Japanese culture style, uh, style of car, basically. And here we have it from Pop Race and it is colored in red, I mean sorry, orange and grey. Or is that white? Grey. Okay, grey. So orange and grey and uh, this is actually not the first time we've seen this car. Uh, the first time that we've seen it, it's basically in a special design and it was specially released. Uh, only few are made, there, uh, there are not a lot of them being made. It is the uh, Bathing Ape Bosozoku, which was in color in um, dark green. That was pretty rare and basically I didn't get my hands on it, of course. Uh, and then they came out with the Macau GT uh, edition, where Pop Race came to the Macau Cup. And basically they did a uh, like dinner model. So they released the Bosozoku again, but this time with the black metallic black I would say jet black I think uh, sort of color and that was nice too but I was I if I'm not mistaken it should be like limited to what uh, I think 399 or is it 299 I don't really remember but yeah that was also pretty rare and then they uh, made it in the regular version where the public can basically buy it there's basically no limitations for the car and here we have it right here ready to review for now and yeah orange and uh, gray color as like I said just now so here we start from the top so just now if I explain the front we'll start off from here pop race uh, pop race socials right there the car itself create your own race world now um, Skyline C210 Kaido Racer Bosozoku style PR64 26 and overall pretty sick. Here is the back. There is the QR code if you need it. There's the barcode if you need that as well. Ages 14 and up. There's the car. Warning blah blah blah. And uh, bottom. Uh, same thing like I said just now. Basically nothing much different. There's the other side. Here's the other side. And pretty simple and all. You know pop race with their boxes there they have pretty sim similar like uh, box style so uh, yeah let's uh, crack this open and uh, yeah you might want to know how this is packaged up basically well if you've seen my uh, previous videos of pop race uh, unboxings you will know you'll probably already know how I normally open up the pop race car so it comes with this black blister where previously if you don't know pop race before they um basically like evolved from the like previous uh type that they were they basically used like clear plastic uh blister but this time they already used like this uh black blister which is quite uh surprised to be honest I don't know is, is it for like saving cost or anything but still uh, overall pretty cool so that's how it come uh, came with in the box so here we have the car outside of the box and uh, first things first you gotta highlight the uh, long long exhaust tips at the back oh my god that is detailed insane and 
I would say they've done a pretty good job. Now, the Bosozoku is one of the cars that is hard to replicate into the Diecast 164 world or maybe other types such as the 143 scale, maybe 118 scale. It's pretty hard. And uh, one major like difficulty with this car is basically recreating its uh, rear exhaust where the exhaust tips are so so I would say tall I would say um, twice the height of the car sort of and um, yeah without further ado let's actually put it on the turntable so you can see it yourself or maybe like a glimpse maybe I should like remove the box from the background there you go um, yeah you can like clearly see and tell now of how like tall the actual exhaust tip is and this car is mainly known for its uh, tall exhaust tip if you don't know Hot Wheels also tried to do something like this with their uh, previous model if you don't know I believe it's called the manga tuner sort of like uh, fantasy model I would say I don't know it's something related with manga manga I'm not sure uh, I've done a review of the tune version if I'm not mistaken I don't have the regular version no uh, if I do have the regular version I think I could compare it but sadly I don't um, if you don't know Hot Wheels actually has done something like this with the tall exhaust tips instead of the metal like exhaust tips they instead put plastic on it because well logically it's made for kids so it's like 3 plus and it wouldn't be reasonable for them to put metal uh, exhaust tips so basically they put plastic but Pop Race took another level in recreating this Bosozoku and they just um, basically they actually did the right thing and basically recreated the whole thing like 100% and it's absolutely perfect I mean no complaints here it's actually like really insane this is actually like uh, this livery is actually based on a real like uh, car design in real life that's majorly popular in Japan where uh, it's able to be driven on the streets sadly it's pretty low to the ground if, if, you, if I'm being honest it actually can hit the ground anytime but of course with its suspension uh, able to rise up and down well it wouldn't be too much of a problem other than the fact the massive exhaust tips at the back would spit fire out of the, all of the place but other than that I would say this car is pretty perfect uh, if you like uh, go to Japan and you happen to go to one of their like Japanese general car meets you might probably know the car by now I mean this specific particular Bosozoku and it's pretty popular in Japan as popular as the Hakosuka that I actually done a review of in orange as well but uh, not in this silvery orange type of color but still it's pretty similar and the Hakosuka was partially similar to the popularity of this Hakosuka, if you ask me. And it is pretty popular. It has like a ton of fans for the car. And uh, this is one of it as well. Many people do want to go to Japan just to see this car in person as it's just crazy. The exhaust uh, spits flames from the top which is like of course from you what you're seeing right here the exhaust tips are like uh, two cars stacked up uh, two of the same car stacked up with each other and that is basically like the height of the um, uh, exhaust tip basically but yeah if you ask me personally the height of this exhaust tip is actually pretty good um, for like Japanese tuner cars and basically your generic JDM fans of course many people loved it and they basically traveled to Japan just to go to these car meets and basically meet the cars in person to me personally I would say um, if you want to go to Japan and go to their car meets you better like um, 
you know, be prepared first because you know their car meets they're quite different to other countries as because of course you know there are some pop and bangs from the uh, uh, exhaust from all of the other cars of course they have some revving and um, personally I would say if you're gonna go to a car meet just for this car I would say you would I mean you should not gonna lie you you could uh, possibly go there maybe snap some photos watch uh, I mean uh, record some videos it's nice I mean the car is pretty good even though it's like more to a modified Nissan it's actually pretty good but um, yeah overall we'll have to see more in depth of the car of course so without further ado let's uh, take a look at the car itself because uh, yeah, of course people want to see the car itself instead of me, uh, you know, talking more about the car itself. But uh, yeah, overall pretty fine. Uh, here is the Nissan C210 uh, Kaido Racer Bosozoku style. And uh, yeah, overall it looks pretty great from the side. I do really like the perspective of it. Um, normally I start from this side, yeah. Okay, the exhaust tips are not as annoying as the uh, Mercedes uh, Maybach that I did a review of. That was way more annoying. That was like, I don't know how many millimeters thin. It's pretty small, pretty thin, and I don't really like it. But for these exhaust tips, I can still uh, bear my hands on because, well, they're actually slightly thick. So, well, it's fine, better, I guess. So we're starting off from what appears to be the right side of course, so let's start from the back. So we have this, the main color of the car is the body of the car basically is in this uh, metallic uh, silver I think. Yeah metallic silver like liquid silver which I kind of like, it's pretty nice, goes throughout the whole car. And above that liquid silver, you can actually see that it has some orange decals or tampos, however you want to call it. You have some of these like orange stripes going all over the car. At the same time, above the like uh, liquid silver color, and I actually do like it. Uh, in the middle, right here at the door, right here, you can see that it has a 210. Of course, it's the C210. Sorry, it's not actually a Nissan, it's more to a, like a Datsun, but still, they both interconnect very well, so uh, you can call it a Nissan or a Datsun if you want. Basically, most of them, like, they are pretty, like, uh, stable with each other, so uh, Datsun C210 right there, which is nice. You have some more orange stripes right there, you have, like, a tiny little silver trim at the, like, um, side skirt right here, I don't know if you can see it or not. You have some more silver trim on the side windshield, I mean sorry, side window, sorry. Side window right here, right, which is nice. You have this tiny little, uh, I mean, uh, side mirror right here on the side, which is pretty neat. I do really like that. And um, yeah, overall the side looks pretty nice, overall pretty co good as well. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, you have the wide body, of course. It's basically like an extended, like curved white body shape right here which is um, pretty different from what you normally see from like the car body kits that they normally apply. They basically have a different style of theirs, which is pretty cool. But yeah, rim, rims, by the way. Um, the ends, inner part of the rims are basically colored in sort of like this, um, what is that, matte yellowish sort of color, which is cool. And the uh, outer bar barrel, I guess you can say that, is more to like a, a chrome silver, which is cool. Uh, regular thickness of the rubber tires. Oh yeah, rubber tires by the way, just if you're wondering. Uh, regular thickness, I would say. It's uh, pretty good. Not too bad. Uh, pretty nice and stable. And uh, yeah, let's move on to the front. So, I don't know if you can see it or not. Um, we'll talk about the headlights first right here. We do have the regular headlights and then you have this like yellow tinted headlight right here you have the regular uh, headlight tint right here and you have this sticking out which is i believe it's supposed to be a wire i'm not entirely sure japanese cars mostly have these like popping up from their headlights i'm not entirely sure i 
don't really have much information regarding this part right here normally. I think it should be like a wire or a pipe. It's not really a pipe but maybe more to a wire I would say. It's something about that but yeah. Uh, color in black by the way you have this extended front splitter of course when it comes to Japanese cars you do have the extended front splitter with a silver trim right here as well. Uh, chrome silver like front bumper and all and uh, blacked out grille which is neat and uh, looking from the front right here we do have a quite clean of a hood right here with uh, some more orange stripe like I said with the silver star shape which is basically the uh, raw color of the body of course the body color as the star shape and the orange as its stripe going down from the hood to the roof and to the back as well and before we move on let me just show you this hood can actually uh, open up so oops I don't know if I'm gonna try to use white tech. Let's see. Okay, it managed to work. So, pretty cool. Yeah, I basically uh, had to use white tech to in order to open it. I don't know if you can barely see the hood details or not, but there you go. You can see the hood in there. You have the nice engine block right here as well. You have the engine guard there, uh, which is pretty cool. You have some like. Um, I don't know matte silver red type of like uh, color right there which is great detail some black uh, blacked out color as well uh, which is pretty detailed and I do really like it the Bosozoku did a pretty good job on its uh, engine as well nice engine details I do love it sadly you, of course you don't have the pop-out engine like the uh, uh, Hakosuka that we had previously which was actually pretty nice it looked really devious if you ask me and uh, I do really like that you have some more stripes on the roof and towards the back you have um, what is that I cannot really tell what does that say this is fastest I think on the rear uh, window of the car oh yeah I forgot um, windshield yeah um, I accidentally skipped the windshield for now. So, what does that say in the windshield? I can't really tell, but there are some Japanese writings right there, which I'm not entirely sure of. And uh, regular windshield tint and also blacked out interior, just if you're wondering. Looking pretty good. I do really like that solid car. Here is the side. Uh, pretty, pretty simple and overall pretty nice. I do really like it. Nothing much to comment about that and let's move on to the main attraction which is uh, basically the back people love it which is uh, basically the main attraction as you can see the only car that I, I don't know if it's available in 164 by pop race on only or not or maybe they will pop race will create more of these like cars with these long exhaust tips but yeah of course the long exhaust tips like I said just now Pot race did a pretty good job on this one and um, yeah you do have the extended rear bumper the twin rear lights right here on each side which is cool hey and also don't forget to mention we do have the Japanese license plate for those uh, fans out there that love the license plates the Japanese license plate there you have it on the car so if you do want cars with Japanese license plate go ahead and get this yeah you can see you have a Japanese license plate 8290 uh, 8209 which is cool and uh, actually it says Datsun right here as well at the stripe which is cool and you have a mini little uh, rear spoiler which is actually pretty cute to be honest it's like smaller than the exhaust tips and uh, basically smaller than the car itself of course and uh, before I forget to mention not only does the hood open, of course you do have the opening trunk as well. Just like the Hakosuka. I don't know if you can see the rear trunk or not, but yeah, it's pretty dark in there. You can see like there is slight detail inside with some like uh, silver bits and bobs right there. Detail right there, which is pretty sick. Overall, thumbs up for me. I do really like that. 
And let's move on to the base. Okay, oops. Oh no. So, uh, just if you want to know, metal base, matte black metal base made in China. Basically, that's it. And pot race. I don't know. I don't think the wheels have like, um, what do you call that? The brake calipers? I do not think so. Even the pot race likes to do brake calipers on their cars. I don't think so. This one has it because, I mean, if you look at the wheels properly, of course, they're like, very very tinyly detailed but still it's actually pretty good um i like the detail basically pop race uh, focuses more on detail absolutely a thumbs up for me i do really like that i'm quite a fan of it and overall i would say this um uh, that since c210 bosozoku i'm quite a fan of it it's pretty nice uh, comparing to the uh, Hakosuka that we had a little while ago and uh, if you're comparing with that I would say this is like uh, pretty good uh, it was like evenly detailed I do really like it it's uh, pretty nice pretty fun and also overall uh, you have that Japanese vibes which I do really like it it's just absolutely stunning to see and of course uh, admire at the same time as this Japanese car is just absolutely wonderful but yeah there you go that is my review of the uh, ne Datsun C210 Datsun Skyline C210 Kaido Racer Bosozoku style let me know down in the comment section down below what do you think about this car whether you like it, whether you don't, maybe you want to wait for other colors. Oh, by the way, there's actually another color coming out soon, which is in this liquid silver and also green. So yeah, better stay tuned for that as well. And just to take note, there is another color for the Hakosuka as well, which is in white. So yeah, better stay tuned for that. That's also on its way. But yeah, there you go. That is my review of the um, Bosozoku C210. I don't want to say the full name. But yeah, there you go. That's my review. Once again, I'd like to say thank you guys for watching. See my other videos. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. See you soon. Bye-bye.